Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday morning, it is the 3rd of June, and we have much to talk about this morning. I'm glad you're here. For one thing, uh, that ridge of high pressure above us, which has uh, suppressed a number of storms, is starting to break down a little bit. That's going to promote better rain chances in the afternoon and evening hours for the next few days. Obviously, we have something else to talk about. Tropical Storm Cristobal, now in the Bay of Campeche, southern Gulf of Mexico. As I have always told you, the Gulf of Mexico is our backyard, and we care what happens in our backyard. And uh, now the information is starting to solidify on Cristobal's future in that yesterday and the day before, you know, the models were all the way from Texas to closer to us. But now it looks like more of a mid-ground. And we have the latest information for the National Hurricane Center and the latest on timing coming in right now. Let's get into the details. Cristobal this morning continues to mill around the extreme southeastern part of the Bay of Campeche near the Yucatan coast. It's moving southeastward and it may actually come ashore and uh, maybe become a depression again before it becomes a tropical storm and then emerges out of the uh, Bay of Campeche and then over the weekend uh, is carried northward into the, the, the uh, north central Gulf of Mexico and eventually towards the uh, well, probably the Louisiana coast, but you see the cone goes all the way from Gulf Shores, Alabama to around Galveston. But we're thinking by, let's say, Sunday morning at 1 a.m., late Saturday night, a 60-mile-an-hour tropical storm in the central Gulf and maybe coming ashore late Sunday night as a 65-mile-an-hour tropical storm, perhaps in Louisiana. But again, you got to look at the whole cone. And right now, the ensemble members are all coming together uh, and more bunched together now on a uh, landfall across the north central gulf of mexico uh, late uh, sunday night so there's cristobo but there's also a weakening ridge of high pressure above us that's going to allow uh, a little bit more numerous showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours they'll be random hit or miss storms heat of the day storms but they will be in better supply today and tomorrow and for the next few days with a high temperature today probably down just a few degrees because of the uh, the number of clouds 87 today 68 tonight with those scattered storms fading out in the overnight hours and south winds at 5 to 10. So tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms again in generous supply in the afternoon and evening hours for us. And that will continue on Friday as well. Uh, that doesn't mean every town will get wet, but you know the drill. Uh, it will be random. And uh, there, there's uh, Cristobal now on Saturday afternoon on the European uh, in the central Gulf of Mexico becoming a little stronger <clears throat> and moving on northward. And eventually by Sunday afternoon, getting closer and closer to the Louisiana coast, perhaps making landfall sometime uh, Sunday evening or Sunday night. And then moving on northward uh, towards Arkansas. We're on the wet side of it, so that means a lot of rain for us. We'll look at rainfall totals here in just a moment. So I've got the rain chances at least 40%. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, you could argue 50%. Highs in the upper 80s. Lows at night around uh, 70 or upper 60s. And then rain chances are certainly better Sunday and Monday and are subject to review. Those numbers will probably go up for Sunday and Monday because we're on the wet side of Cristobal. Rainfall amounts easily 2 to 4 inches across much of our area. But as you get into the wire grass, maybe 4 to 5 inches. You get into coastal Alabama, maybe 5 to 6 inches of rain from the tropical storm. So the beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City, you know, it doesn't look good. It's not going to rain all the time, but there are going to be some tropical downpours down there. Certainly highs around 80, 81, and uh, the Gulf water temperature now at a season high, 81. So if you're going to the beach, remember it never rains in the restaurant. I hope you have our weather app on your phone or tablet. It is going to be great to have the next few days to stay up with the latest on the tropics, latest on these videos. You'll also have hourly forecasts, 10-day forecasts, uh, advanced notifications for severe weather alerts, and interactive radar down to the neighborhood level and future radar. Go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather. It's free. So we'll continue to monitor the future track on Cristobal. And not only will Alabama be on the wet side of Cristobal, uh, the right side is also uh, the tornado threat side. Could there be some spin up tornadoes in uh, you know in coastal Alabama or in parts of South Alabama certainly that can't be ruled out as well we'll keep an eye on it live on the radio this morning 6 to 9 news talk 93.1 live on CBS 8 and ABC 32 join us on TV this morning on Alabama rising another video for you 
first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. Thanks for watching the video this morning. I'll keep you up to date on the storm. Have a good day today. Rich Thomas Weather.